Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this hat for adult men and women. Now, many of you have asked me to make this version for adult men and women since I already have a tutorial for the baby version and the child's version. If you click the little lamb down here next to my channel name, it'll take you to my main channel page and there you will see the other versions of this same style hat. So I hope you like it. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these five millimeter circular knitting needles. These are 16 inch. We're going to knit this hat in the round. You can also use longer knitting needles uh, and use the magic loop technique. I'm just going to knit it in the round. Now, the yarn that I'm using is called Hayfield Bonus Chunky. This is a number five yarn, and this is in the color, uh, let's see, 0987. Okay, so to begin, the first thing that we're going to do is we need to cast on our stitches. Now, this hat is going to be for adult men and women, so I'm going to cast on a total of 80 stitches. Now, to cast on our stitches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up my needles like this. Usually, uh, if the needles are longer, I use both of them like this, but this here... Uh, it's kind of short, so I'm just going to add another needle here. Doesn't matter. Uh, this one is 4.5. Yeah, you can use a smaller or the same size. It doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to cast on my stitches using the long tail cast on. So we need to determine how much yarn we need to leave for our long tail. So what I like to do is I like to wrap my yarn around 20 times. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're going to remove our yarn like this. And here we have enough yarn for 20 stitches. If we double it up, we have enough for 40 stitches. If we double it up again, we have enough for 60 stitches. We need 80, so we're going to double it up again so here we have enough yarn for 80 stitches now we're going to leave a tiny bit more just in case and i'm going to now make a slip knot here now insert your needles both of them into this slip knot and this yarn here is coming from the skein and this here is our long tail now we're going to insert our finger like this through the middle open the yarn up and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop. So grab a loop, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and so on. I'm going to continue doing this until I have 80 stitches. So I'll come back and show you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have 80 stitches. Now we're going to add one more, but this one stitch does not count. So I'm going to tell you why we're going to add it soon. So add one more. So now you have 81 stitches. Now remove your needle, one of them, if you're using longer needles, just remove one of them. I'm using this wooden one, so I'm just going to pull it off like this. And now I have my 81 stitches here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread my stitches like this over my needle. I know this first row tends to be a bit hard, so I'm just going to pull a loop here right in the center so that my stitches are all facing, or all here in the front of the needle like this. Just make sure that they're not twisted, so like this. Okay, so we have the first stitch that we cast on, or actually this is the slip stitch that we did, and we have the last stitch here. So we're going to join in the round. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass this first stitch right here to this needle, and then we're going to pass the last stitch over 
this stitch that I just did. So just hold on to it like this and just go over it like this. Now pass the stitch back again to this needle and pull your yarn here to close. Now we're joined. Now I like to tie a knot here, just a small knot to keep these stitches here in place like this. Perfect, now we're joined. Now we're going to start by making two knit stitches and then two purls, knit two, purl two. So I'm just going to pull my needle here. I'm going to knit. This is kind of sort of the magic loop technique, but once we get over this first row, we should be able to work these stitches. So anyways, we're going to knit the first two Oh, and here I forgot to tell you, make sure you put a stitch marker. I'm going to add it once I finish this first row, but this part here tell us that it's the beginning of the row here. So I'm going to remove this out of the way. The next two we are going to purl. Knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl two. And this is all I'm going to do all around this first row. Knit two and purl two. Knit two, purl two, all around. So continue like this, and I will meet you once this first row here is done to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. My last two stitches here, they have to be two purl stitches. So I'm going to purl my last two. And this is how I finished the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to, I'm going to put my stitch marker here before I forget. This is just to mark the beginning of each row from here on. Now for the second row, here we're going to knit two and purl two is exactly the same thing. Now, in this second row to purl, we're going to have to go here into the back leg and purl the stitch like this. Knit two, purl two. It's the same thing we did on the first row. Knit two, purl two. Continue like this for the second row and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished the second row. Now to begin the third row, we're going to knit two and then purl two. From here on, this is the row that we're always going to repeat. You're going to knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two for the rest of the hat. Um, just continue watching. I'm not sure how many exactly. I'm thinking about 60, six rows. If it's less or more, I'll let you know. Just continue watching. But all you're going to do from here on is continue working, knit two, purl two, all around. Same thing for every row, okay? So continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I have a total of 60 rows and this is how much yarn I have left, which is enough to, for me to do uh, two or three more rows of reduction here for the crown. Now, if you prefer your hat to be um, not as long, what I plan to do is to wear this hat like this, um, fold it. But if you prefer yours to be shorter, then just do less rows. For me, this is perfect because I'm not going to have any leftover yarn. So here, what I'm going to do in this next row is I'm going to reduce. So we're going to reduce here. Um, I'm going to put back my stitch marker here. And these next two stitches, I am going to knit. The next two are the two purl stitches. These two, I am going to purl two together. The next two, knit. The next two, purl two together. Knit two purl two together. And this is all I'm going to do for this row. So continue and I will meet you here at the end. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of reduction now. For the next row, we're just going to work this row normal. We're not going to reduce anything. So two knit stitches, the next stitch we are going to purl. So knit two, and the next stitch, purl. Let's see, purl this way. So knit two, and then purl one. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now for the next row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit two together and then purl the next. Knit two together, purl the next. Knit two together, purl the next. This is how I'm going to continue for this row, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now, in this next row, I'm going to just knit the knit row and then purl the next. So knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Continue like this to the end of this row and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now we're going to work one more row reduction. So here, uh, this stitch here is the knit stitch and the next one is the purl. We're going to knit two together. So I'm going to remove the first stitch, change the direction of the purl stitch and then put it back and then put the first one there and then we're going to knit two together. Again, remove this first stitch change the direction of the one in the back, put it back, and then knit two together. Again, remove this one, the first one. This is the knit stitch, and the next one is the purl. So change the direction, put it back, and then knit two together. Like this. Remove the knit stitch, change the direction of the purl stitch, put it back, and then knit two together. One more time. Remove the knit stitch, change the direction of the purl stitch, and knit two together. This is how I'm going to continue for this row, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished making this last row and I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 stitches left. Now here I cut my yarn, so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this needle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass these stitches to this yarn here. So just remove your stitches here all around. Okay, here's my last stitch. So here, hold on to this loop here and just pull your yarn. Insert your needle like this and then pull to close the top of the hat. Perfect. Now we can weave this yarn here around the top all around a couple of times so that this here does not open.
and then just insert it through the inside like this. Weave it around one more time or a couple of times and then our hat is done. That's what it looks like from the top. There it is. Now I'm just going to fold it like this and my hat is done and it's perfect. I like the way that it looks and fits on me and my husband, it fits on him perfectly. So you can make this hat for men or women. And there it is. I already have a baby hat version in this same style and um, a teen size and child size hat in the same way. I'll leave the links to these tutorials down here in the information box. But for now, this hat is done and I used exactly 100 grams of yarn uh, and it was very, very easy to make. And there it is. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.